She was known throughout the world as Queen Elizabeth II, but during World War II, it was Princess Autumn Mechanic which hit the headlines, as she was the first female member of the royal family to serve in the armed forces as a driver and mechanic in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. We were getting to the, towards the end of the war. Uh, the war had essentially been won, the British knew that, and therefore it was key that the, the British royal family associated themselves with the, with the forces in some way at this point in time. So Elizabeth, uh, it was part of a, a broader sort of pub, publicity drive to make her, uh, if you like, connect with the, with the forces in some way. But growing up during the war had its challenges, even for the royal family. Buckingham Palace has been bombed again. This kind of savagery Buckingham Palace was hit during aerial bomb attacks, so Elizabeth and her sister Margaret were evacuated to Windsor Castle, 20 miles outside of London. Despite living in the shadow of the war, the young princesses attempted to carry on their lives as normal, even putting on pantomimes. Princess Elizabeth did play the male lead, so we have, for example, her, her costume from the role of Aladdin, to, taking the lead character in that. Um, but by the time of 1944, the final pantomime, which was Old Mother Red Riding Boots, um, Her Majesty was 18 years old, and I think the feeling was that it would be more appropriate for her to play a female lead instead of a male lead by that stage. But I think it was, you know, it certainly feels like a very unique moment in, in the Queen's life, and certainly um, in the life of the castle, and during that very interesting period of the Second World War. As she grew up, the princess began to take on more royal duties and was given the role of honorary colonel of the Grenadier Guards on her 16th birthday. On the 8th of May 1945, the war in Europe ended. In London, tens of thousands of people took to the streets outside Buckingham Palace, where the king and queen greeted them from the balcony. But for Princess Elizabeth and her sister, that's not where the celebrations ended. 19-year-old Princess Elizabeth and her sister were able to slip out of the palace gates here and join the crowds of people which were all gathered here enjoying the festivities. It's understood that Princess Elizabeth even pulled down her uniform cap over her eyes to avoid being recognised. And then the group made their way up to the Ritz where it's even rumoured that the two princesses joined in with dancing the conga. The Queen later said that the celebrations were one of the most memorable nights of her life, which for someone who lived through so much is really saying something. Alice Porter, GB News.